Mmm, turtle sauce. The dish should go well with the fish. Gator. Mmm. What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Bin here in beautiful St. Cloud, Florida. This is about a 45 minute drive south from downtown Orlando and today we're going out on Lake Toho to see wildlife, to see alligators, turtles, snakes, birds. We're here with wild willies. We're gonna get on this boat right now. Are you guys ready? Are you excited? Oh, and we're also going after this to the catfish place to try some exotic Floridian food, which includes alligator tail, frog legs, and catfish. Are you guys excited? Are you ready? I'm ready to roll. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Wow, like the Ferrari of airboats. I haven't seen one this nice. This has got actually a brand new engine. You're working with uh, less than 100 hours on this, on this engine. See how, uh, how new it looks still. Perfect. Yeah, brand new. Yeah, you need earphones. This, this, uh, this airboat is noisy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it is. Yeah, I don't hear anything now. Hey guys, uh, Captain Brandon here from Wild Willie's Airboat Tours. Uh, we're here in St. Cloud, Florida, here on Lake Toho. Wild Willie started 11 years ago. Business has really grown over that time. Six boats now, five captains. Get you guys into Florida nature, seeing alligators and birds, turtles, snakes, everything we have to offer here. Running alongside a ranch here today, you have opportunity to see deer and turkey, a lot of raccoons, otters, you name it. If it's here in the Everglades, we have it here at Wild Willie's. Hey David, right over here on the left, there's a little alligator. Where? You want to go ahead and walk up on the front. Let's see if you can catch this over here on the left. Here it goes. Hey, here. Let's go. All right, so after looking for some turtles, some gators, we saw some, but they were very small. They disappeared really quick. Now we're gonna go on the roof. Just yeah, left of oh, center, wow. right there on the limb, Dang. American bald eagle. He's American bald eagle right there? Wins. Here's a very big alligator. Do my best not to scare him off. That's right there. They definitely exist out here in big numbers, but uh, when they get to be this age, they're very smart, they're wise, they stay away from this noise. Uh, really lucky to come across one this big like this laid up for you. Saw our first alligator, 10, 11 foot gator right here. He's a little timid, he's trying to stay away. I mean, we don't really want to scare him, so we're gonna get out of here and leave him alone. We're gonna keep looking for more gators. What he's telling us is the small gators are part of the easiest to capture right here next to the boat. The bigger gators get scared off, and then turtles, we've seen a few, but they've like been under the lily pads. And yeah, I mean, this place is beautiful. It actually feels like I'm in the middle. Alligators, unlike crocodiles, they eat what they can manage to swallow whole. They don't exert the energy to take down something that large. Cows are completely safe. Unless they are desperate, of course. What do you think? But if they are desperate, they, they're probably not desperate here because you know, there's plenty of food here. When, when alligators are mature, they can actually survive a whole year without eating anything at all. So they get super thin, right? Well, they will. <laughs> they will get really they're thin. more aggressive. Yeah, <laughs> maybe take down a cow. Florida is the second uh, largest producer of cattle or beef. So you can see right here is a little bit of the cattle industry here in Florida. Oh man, you just you know south, down in South Florida where you're at, along the way from here to Yeehaw Junction and then on down to Okeechobee County, mm -hmm. uh, it's nothing but cattle and citrus uh, down that way. You know the Florida Turnpike heading south is just dividing up a bunch of ranch land. Florida is just so vast in, uh, in green vegetation, improved pasture. Another big alligator right over here, guys. Really big. Look at the small ones, Dad. No, this guy. See the babies? Turtle right there. Okay. That's where that snake comes from. Disappeared. Look at this little guy, though. 
Yeah, right. Just pop up. Uh, about a four-year-old here. Okay. Uh, you know, four and five years old. A good rule of thumb is that the alligators out here are going to grow about eight inches to a foot a year for the first six years of their life. Wow. And then after that, the growth slows down a lot. That's kind of when they're transitioning into adulthood. Uh, the growth is known to slow down to as little as one to three inches per year. Oh wow. So, so with an big. average lifespan around 50 years, that gives you an idea how long it takes for them to grow into themselves. Like I mean, real you gotta Florida. Come here. You're gonna come here and do it. This is something I always tell people when you ever come to Florida, you have to go on an airboat ride Absolutely. and experience it because this is how Florida traditionally was. I mean, it was just swampland. Swampland. Amazing. The marsh, but beautiful wildlife. Look at those birds. You guys have a good time? Hey, love it, man. Thank you so much. We're not quite done yet. I got an alligator for you to hold now, okay? Okay. Okay, awesome. <laughs> you gonna hold it? Yeah, sure. No breakfast whatsoever. Oh my god, I think I need some more coffee, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, we'll have another coffee. You've never held an alligator before? No, no. No? It's the first time. Is that a joke? No, I'm not. Have you held an alligator before? <laughs> like a hundred times. Really? Yeah. We're just gonna go Our out. alligators are so well behaved that we don't even have to shut their mouths. Oh my god. Not even if they're hungry? No, this is Sergio. Good news is that just ate this morning, so. So he's okay, not gonna bite. Your fingers don't look that tasty. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just gently underneath his neck here, like, okay, like this. Yeah, yeah, so he just ate, so he's not gonna do anything. They're really strong. If he starts wiggling, yeah, just stable. gently by the neck and around the tail, and he's yeah. good. He's good right here. Okay, David. He's strong. L don't tell him what we're eating next. He's yeah, get upset. We're reading his tail later. <laughs> <laughs> not his tail. Nah, not his Somebody tail. else's tail. And this is actually a farmed gator, so he can never be released in the wild, right? Because I mean, he'll just he can't he survive. He won't survive. And that's it, one hour airboat ride is done. That was an incredible experience. But the best thing to do is order an Uber from here. It takes about 20 minutes. Once the Uber gets here, it's about a 30 minute drive to the catfish place. That's the restaurant we're going to now. And then we're gonna try some catfish, we're gonna try some frog legs, and some gator tail. Excited for the food? I'm super excited. Let's go eat a gator. <laughs> <laughs> the catfish place is located right here in the town of St. Cloud. It's about a 15 minute Uber drive to get there. And yeah, I mean, the reason we're going there is really to try exotic Floridian food. I really want to show you guys what Florida food is all about. You know, if you go down to the Everglades or here to a lake, a swamp land, you'll be able to try these, these delicacies, which is obviously the gator, the frog legs, and the catfish. But I also think they have some other stuff from here. They have some fish. I'm hungry. We didn't have breakfast today. So <laughs> I'm, 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 we're, we're intermediate fastings. Catfish place, we've arrived. Okay. Since 1973. It looks Let's go inside. Huh? Are you ready for some catfish? I'm ready. Let's do it. I'm hungry, man. We haven't had any breakfast. What's up, man? How, How are you, you doing? I'm Randy. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, man. I'm Randy Johnson from the Catfish Place here in St. Cloud. Been here since 1973. This is my sister, Dina Taylor. Our family opened the restaurant when I was nine months old, and we serve gator, turtle, frogs. So I really like Floridian food. Oh, yeah. Yep. Local stuff. Local, Local stuff. Local stuff. Uh, everything's fried, or we got a mix? Most of it's fried. Yeah. Not health food. The best coleslaw you'll ever eat. Okay. The hush puppies are outstanding. Oh my god, that sounds yeah. amazing. Fried lobster is really good. We got whatever. We have hamburgers, steaks, chicken, pork chops, uh, anything. Broiled food. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're starting off with their famous coleslaw, and the way you eat it is you get some crackers, and this is the spoon. And okay, I never know this. You didn't know this? No, oh, me either. Something new, right? Something new. And today what we're gonna try is we're gonna try a dish called the cracker, and the cracker comes with fried turtle, fried gator bites, frog legs, catfish, and we're also gonna try some hush puppies. Amazing. Amazing, right? So what do you do? You eat the... Like so you use one as a spoon and the other one like a lift to the spoon. Oh wow. Very light, loving the cabbage and the salty crackers. Together, it's perfect marriage. Perfect. I never knew you could eat this like that. Mm -hmm. 
Look at that. Oh my god, this is delicious, guys. Like, it really is. Mm. Not too much mayo in it, right? Dude, I, I think it's one of my favorite coleslaws of all time. Yeah, man. It is fantastic. It's a little addictive. I might eat too much because I'm not gonna fill out too fast. I'm gonna eat one more. They're very good. They're, they're addictive, really. Mm. Here we have the cracker platter. It comes with four different things. We have alligator tail. We have turtle, fried turtle. We have frog legs right here. And then here we have catfish. And then this plate over here, we have hush puppies and fried snapper. So you can see, this is like a fried feast of exotic Floridian uh, dishes or animals. What do you want to try first? Oh, and sorry, this is the, the what's it called? Tiger sauce. Tiger sauce, there we go, tiger sauce. And there's other sauces. And then here we have the honey. This is a locally produced honey, and locally sourced honey from uh, Randy, the owner's friend from high school. Pretty amazing, over 50 years making honey. How do you want to start? I, I think know. I'm going to start you with the turtle. You lead the way. Turtle. turtle. Oh, God. <laughs> I think we have to start with the turtle. Okay. Two of the turtle what, do you, what do you have the tiger sauce for? The turtle? The turtle. Turtle and gator? Okay. Let's try it. Mmm. I give me this turtle. It doesn't taste like turtle at all. I feel like it's just like a like regular, not chicken, but a little tender, more tender than chicken. This is the gator, right? The gator. Let's try the gator. And what's the other sauce? I don't know. Tartar sauce? Regular tartar? Mmm. Turtle sauce. And that should go well with the fish. Gator. Mmm. Because usually I've tried gator and it's a little too thick for me, like a little rubbery. This one's perfect. Mmm. Man, the turtle's addictive though. A little bit of honey, right? Mm hmm. Whoa. Okay. 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 Honey okay. is good for you. <laughs> Amazing hush puppies. Dude, I'm gonna bathe it. So here we have catfish. Catfish. And we're going with tartar sauce for the catfish. They scamy or just normal? Mmm. I mean, it goes amazing with the tartar sauce. Tartar sauce and fried fish is like the perfect combination. It always goes really good. So excited for this. And then here we have fried snapper. I'm gonna grab it with my hands, and this one I'm gonna submerge it here into the butter. Oh my god. Oh wow. Mm. Should I try this? this is same outstanding. One? Outstanding. Look at that. Just like. I mean, I'll tell you, I love eating all this fried food, but. I don't know if I'm gonna feel good later. <laughs> you will. We're gonna have some beer later. Mm. Turtle's amazing. I've never had turtle before. I've always stayed away from it because I'm a big turtle lover, but whatever. <laughs> oh, here we have some frog legs. Yeah, I've had frog legs in Everglades in a few other places. Turtle sauce. Really? Mm. Mm. The alone's amazing too. Alone? Let's try it alone first. Mm. It feels like a more delicate chicken. The tartar sauce takes it to a whole nother level. So you get the cracker platter for $22.99. Man, the hush puppies, man. It's too much. <laughs> I mean, you can eat that cocktail sauce with everything. Hmm? You can eat it with everything. Finish your turtle. No, we have a lot of turtle here. There's a lot of turtle here. Well guys, if you find yourself in downtown Orlando, definitely take a drive down here. St. Cloud is about a 45 minute drive south from downtown. And here you can go on the airboat ride with Wild Willies. That's an awesome Floridian experience. Then come out here to the catfish place and try some delicious fried exotic Floridian foods. We got turtle, catfish, uh, gator tail, we got frog legs, snapper, and hush puppies. And I'm gonna eat one more. One more turtle? I have to. Uh, well guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you on the next travel food adventure in... Somewhere in the world. Somewhere. <laughs> All right.